Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 2.11. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Relationship with God, the one true God, the absolute truth in this world. I don't care what anybody tells you. There is absolute truth to this world. There are physics, just like there are physics and things that actually happen. There's absolute God. Relationship with the one true God who created everything is better than religion. Is better than religion. We don't need religion. We can have God. As it says, even so the things of God know of no man but the Spirit of God. When Christ died and resurrected, he gave us the power to have the Holy Spirit come and dwell in us so that we may know that he is indeed Lord and that God is God and that he can have relationship with us. God's not some robot. You don't put him in a box. You don't go in and let me go do 15 prayers. Oh, let me go see what the Pope says. Oh, <laughs> we don't need a man ahead of us because the son of man and the son of God died for us so that we can have relationship with him, a personal relationship with him, not religion, not a religion with him, a relationship with him. He knows each and every one of us as individuals. We are all unique to him. And we have all fallen short of the glory of God so that all might through him be saved. That is why he died. That is why he died. As Romans 8, 14 through 17 says, for as many are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He is like a father to us. Do I have to go through all these people? Do I have to go through my teachers to talk to my father? No, you can talk to your father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. The Lord died so that we can have relationship. What well, that separation that the sin was brought into this world through the first Adam, the second Adam, the Son of Man and the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, came so that we may have relationship with him. As John 16, 13 says, and this really shows because you cannot, you cannot put God in a box. But the spirit of truth comes and he reveals himself to you. The invisible attributes of the world reveal him to you the physics reveal him to you and then the way man's heart is reveals things to you the the prophecies reveal him to you in the history everything cries out that there is a god and not only that there's a god not only that there's a god but that he came down and fulfilled 300 so prophecies so that you might be saved and that there is an enemy and we can see the motions of the enemy by just, just looking out what's happening into society. The Babylonian system. Look up verse of the days, 190 to 215 to understand. As you can see God, as you can see the wind, the way the enemy moves about shows that there is a God. Watch those verses someday. Because John 16, 13 says, How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that 
shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. The Spirit of truth will reveal everything to you. As the Lord says, I desire compassion and not sacrifice. He wants relationship and not religion. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. You're unknowable, but you made yourself so knowable through the Spirit of truth, through the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. May many be saved. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.